Hi, <laughs> and welcome to In, In the, the kitchen. kitchen. This is our very first episode. I am Rachel Zawadi Luttrell Bateman, and this is my mom, Veronica. Maki Hio Cheng mm-hmm. Hoon Day. Oh, <laughs> Luttrell. All right, all right. right. We'll bring all those names in from Africa. Exactly. From Tanzania. Exactly. I am married to an American, so I have sort of adopted Luttrell. Exactly. And All right. so I was born in Tanzania, and you well, are also of course, born in Tanzania, and that's how you was born in Tanzania. <laughs> so this is my guilty way of getting amazing food that my mom uh, cooks all the time, but, you know, learning the recipes, and hopefully you will also learn and enjoy the recipes, and also learning how to speak Swahili, which, Mom, I did I, I, I used to speak Swahili, yes? You, sp- you spoke a little bit. Do you know what we are making in Swahili right now? Uh, no. Donuts is mandazi. Mandazi. So we are making... We are mandazi. making mandazi. Amazing donuts. Mandazi. Yes. Dio. Dio. Yes. Yes. Dio means yes. Dio. Yes. Yes. Mandazi. Dio. Do not... Let's start. You see, now you're getting me speaking Swahili, and then I will start teaching Swahili right away. Uh, let's start. Okay, great. So, for the mandazi, we need one cup of milk. Okay, and we've already... Well, oh, yes. Do and I need a pot and uh, get a pot. Okay. And we're going to scald the milk. Okay, so one cup of milk. Mm-hmm. We're going to... And how... Milk, milk is... Maziwa. Maziwa. We're gonna I remember that from We're going to heat the maziwa, the milk, a little bit and to look warm. And then we're going to mix it with oil, egg, nutmeg. And sugar oil. And sugar. So we're gonna go to the stove and quickly uh, um, we're gonna scald the milk. Okay, so ma- maziwa. 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 Okay. Awesome. So we're gonna get that milk. Get that milk to look warm. Okay. In so the I'm olden days they scalded it, they boiled it because the milk was not pasteurized, right? Okay. And uh, now we don't need to kill any germs in the milk. We just need to heat it so that it will be lukewarm. And, and not, yeah. Yeah, it will then mix the uh, sugar. It will melt the sugar better when it's okay. warm. And is this something that you used to have when you were growing up? Or did you learn how to cook this? I learned how to cook this when I married your dad. Uh-huh. However, in my village, I used to go buy mandazi ah. in a little store. And when I... Learned to cook it. It was gold. Awesome. It was gold. In in Mlalo. In Mlalo, in my Tanzania, village. In yes. The Simbara Mountains. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll we'll watch. And that. while that is scalding, we're gonna then put the um, yeast in lukewarm water and okay. a little sugar to rise. So I'm gonna get the yeast okay. and put it in uh, warm water. Okay. Now I'm gonna go get some warm water so that we can make uh, put. The yeast to rise. How much warm water, Mama? Oh, I say two tablespoons of warm water. Okay. Two tablespoons. As a cook, I know. I don't. I just look. And a little sugar. How much sugar? A little sugar, maybe like a, a, a teaspoon, pinch? a pinch. Okay. Yeah. And then you get the yeast and one packet. And Mama, what kind of sugar are you using? Is I'm just using sugar granulated sugar. sugar. Just mm-hmm. granulated sugar. So now the yeast is being, um, is rising. I just start it with my finger because my finger is clean. <laughs> when you are cook, you have to stay clean. And it's going to be rising while we put nutmeg. Okay. We're going to send, uh, can, can we both go to the nutmeg? We're going to get the milk here. <laughs> you guys just try and move it up. We should just don't worry, you worry about it. Okay, just, we, can you, you know can you edit, Plato? Then we put the milk in the bowl. Okay. Put two teaspoons of two tablespoons of um, go get a of uh, well, I can just eyeball it. Okay. Two fantastic. tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons. Awesome. And put the milk oil there. Uh, Tell me to do something, Mama. Okay. Uh, you can sprinkle some nutmeg. nutmeg. Okay. Just sprinkle so some nutmeg. Like It'll be like something like half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Yeah. Okay. Great. This keep, is. Keep doing it. Mama has got the eye. Okay. 
This is like a real treat. We used to have, well, we have this all the time. Like your donuts. Yeah, are that's, that's great. That's great. Um, now we need the sugar. Okay, I'll go get the sugar. Go get the sugar, and we'll put the sugar, and we'll put quarter cup sugar. Quarter cup, we put in the, with the milk. Okay, quarter cup. Quarter cup. A pinch of salt, please, Rachel. Right. Get a pinch of salt. That's good. Okay. And we stop. Stop all of that together. Do you want me to stir? Yeah. Do yeah. No, no, you okay. stir. You stir. Ah. You know what stir is in Swahili? No, thank you. What is it? Koroga. Koroga. Okay. Koroga. So koroga and we're stirring koroga, the maziwa. Maziwa milk and sugar, sukari. And, okay. and it smells... It smells really yummy, so what do I, I mean, it already smells yummy, so mm. how does, like, it smells delicious, how do you say that? Uh, in Anukia, Vitamu Sana, Vitamu Sana. We're gonna add the yeast. Okay, Vitamu Sana. Mm. We're gonna add yeast, we're gonna add the egg. Okay. Gotta break the egg, so make one sure egg. one egg. And I keep stirring, keep okay. stirring, keep stirring. Okay. Stirring it. So, mommy, this is something that my Louisiana relatives told you about, or is this something that the BB in Louisiana? Like, how did you learn this recipe? Oh, I learned that recipe from a cookbook that was given to me whoa, a long time ago. Uh, uh, Louisiana, can I help? You just have to really stir. Okay, I wasn't stir. doing it right. Yeah, well, because I could still see the egg yolk not okay. being broken. Okay. Um, I learned this from a southern cookbook. Okay, from cool. a southern cook, you know, we won't give the name of the, the book. And then, keep, so I'm gonna put some keep water. Stirring. Yeah, keep stirring. I'm gonna add the flour. Okay. A little at a time. That's mm. one cup going in. Okay. Keep stirring. Mm -hmm. Just keep stirring. Keep stirring. Just keep stirring. It's and happy. we are using whole wheat flour, which is uh, we, we actually changed the recipe in my family. We pre we prefer whole wheat flour. Do you need help? <laughs> I have muscles. <laughs> okay. People always used to ask you how you had such amazing arms. Because you And see, I think it's because of I all make the donuts and I make that. Yes. And we're gonna add. I just eyeball it, and we're gonna add a little bit more. So flour. what you're trying? You're trying to not make it. It needs to be kind of dry and not. It, it should not be too dry. It okay. should not be, never be too dry. Otherwise, it will be too. The donut should be too dry. Okay. So. You will see. Awesome. So it has whole wheat flour and eggs, eggs and milk, which and is why milk. you used to say that this would be like a perfect breakfast for us. That's right. <laughs> Even though it was donuts. <laughs> Even though it was donuts. It's it perfectly was nutritional. Absolutely. It has got protein. Hey. It's got whole wheat flour. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong We didn't there. argue with you. No, you didn't. Heck no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Delicious. All right, so let's just get that down in there. Let me touch it and make sure it's, it's perfect. It's a little bit wet, but that's the way it should be. Okay. Now, this is how it looks. And um, we're gonna put a wet towel or damp towel over it and let it rise. Turn it down. Yeah, we're gonna, is that, yeah, so that's this is how, how it looks, consistency, it's not too, hard and not too wet either and we will leave it to rise for one hour okay. and covered with a damp towel then can i have okay. a damp cloth right yeah. there and um just damp it a little and then cover it okay. put it aside that's it and I um, can't wait for it to rise. Yes. So um, just cover I the can't bowl. remember how you how we say that it smells delicious. Vinanukia vitamu vinanukia vitamu utamu vinanukia utamu is is um, 
Uh, you know, I haven't been speaking Swahili for every day, so don't uh, challenge mama yet. <laughs> <laughs> but Vitu Vitamu is Vitu Vitamu is sweet things. Sweet things. Sweet things. Vitu in, in Swahili, we hardly ever say it smells, the food smells. Yeah, you know. okay. So that's why I hesitate. Now we're going to put this aside. Okay. And that will end our donut. Yeah. When it has risen, we we'll will roll it. We will go, we'll roll it. Yeah, and okay, um, okay. So for now, we should, for we now should, we should start another episode. Rachel, come to Mama and let's just finish this. And. Uh, Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay, so the dough has risen. Should we take a look and see what it looks like, Mama? Yes, let us look. Okay. Oh, it beautiful. has doubled in the size. It's beautiful. So now what do we do? Now we punch it down. Punch uh, it. Punch it down right. like that. And then it goes down. Cool. And sprinkle some flour Can on I the do board. That? Yes, sprinkle please it? sprinkle some flour. And then we're gonna knead. And you shouldn't knead too much. Okay. Because uh, why? Because it the, they get hard. Oh, okay. So here's our dough. Great. And yeah, this goes over here. Is that enough flour? That is enough flour. I need some for my hands. Okay. And so we need, 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 for now, you keep it close because okay. it's still sticking a little bit. Just and we want it not sticky? Need. We want it not to stick to the cutting board. That means to the um, rolling area. But we also don't want to knead too long. Now it's ready to roll. Wait, would you like to roll? Sure, why not? No, I put a little bit of flour on Put a little bit of this. flour on that. Okay. And then and make sure that you have flour down here so oh, it won't stick flour. now. Terrific. Here I go. Roll. Great. Um, that's our dog Lucy in the back. I think she hears the postman or something. Yes. She's, she's uh, acute hearing. Doesn't matter who's walking by. She's going to be. How, so how flat do I do it? This is thicker than this. So right. I have okay. to make it even. So mama, when you were growing up, mm -hmm. how did your, your mom cook on, on like a it was an open fire? Yes, it was an open fire. And this is enough. This is this is rolled enough. Okay. Now we're going to cut in, in, in um, not squares, but in um, triangles. Okay, great. And we go like that, that. There's one of our donuts. We put it there. And it will have to sit and rise for 30 minutes. Okay. And they don't have to be pretty. You know, they so taste they're, good. Because they're going to taste delicious. They taste delicious. And they don't also have to all be triangles. They can be also... Should I maybe get a knife and start... Yes, you want me to cut some. Okay, great. Just cut them in eating size. Okay. Terrific. Eating size. That's what I call them. Nice. So she would cook on an open... On an open fire. Yes. When you were growing up. Yes. Oh, yes. Firewood. And firewood. And yeah. a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but I do remember you um, using a smoker often when we were growing up and cooking outside a lot. That's right. And I love the smell of how things. You know, it's it's nothing like uh, when you cook outdoors. It right. tastes so good. Right. Because nature itself is out there helping. Right, things that are cooked outdoors and then also cooked. They're sticking a little bit and we need more, more flour. flour. More flour, more flour, more flour. Okay. Remind me how to say these again. Mandazi. Mandazi. Donuts. Yum, mandazi. Mm -hmm. I think I'm being too gentle here. Just no, don't be too gentle. Just slice. Go for it. Yes, go for it. Yes, some of them will be bigger than others. Which is awesome. Those will be the ones that I'll eat. <laughs> and as I say, they don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Good, because mine just, don't look... <laughs> I just have I don't to, know what shape they to are. be cut small enough so that so we can enjoy them. Okay, great. And we'll put a little bit more flour. 
No, mom. Yeah. My middle name is Zawadi. Zawadi. And that means gift. It means gift. And what does Makihio mean? I don't know. Which is your middle name? It was my grandmother's name, and I don't know what it means. Oh, okay. It's actually. Um, is it a di- in a different language? Or no, is it? it isn't. It isn't. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, listen. So some people are they're called, you know, I don't know, Tom. Well, they don't know what the heck Tom exactly, is. Exactly. Exactly. It's a name. Is a name. Is a name. What's in a mm-hmm. name? What's in a name? <laughs> but my staff and all my sisters, we all have names. That, Definitely. That yes. They mean something. They mean words, something. Yes. In Swahili. Yes. So we're just trying to make them not to stick as they sit here for thirty okay. minutes. Uh, make sure they're sitting under the flower. Okay. I mean, over the flower. Great. And um, so then, uh, that's that. That's it. Okay, now nice. we're going to cover them with a cloth. Let them rise 30 minutes. And uh, see you later, donuts. See you later. Okay, great. So the donuts are ready. Mom, do you want to reveal them? Oh, yes. The big reveal. Yay! Yay! They have risen and they are ready for... The frying pot. Okay, awesome. And so, uh, so here we go to the. We'll meet you at the frying. Frying. Okay, do you want me to hold these, Mom? Why don't I hold this and you put them in? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, oh, they kind of married. Okay, so we can only put a few in, huh? You can only put a few. And how long do we let them fry? Only as long as, um, very short, the, the bottom um, turns brown. You can put them there. Okay, so we're going to look for them to turn brown. It's done brown in the bottom. I need a spatula. And, oh, careful. And, to see. I already see them getting really light and fluffy. Yes, you see like that one? Yeah, look, they look great. Yeah. So we're going to give it a t- some time to And then we flip them? Flip them once okay. and then put them on the paper towel to drain. To get rid of To get rid the of oil. the excess oil. Okay, great. Quite. A golden brown. A golden brown. Yep, this is ready. Ooh. And that one is ready. Woohoo. <laughs> Everything's a song. We sing in this family all the time. So all the time. All the hoo hoo and ha ha. ha, ha. <laughs> Makes oh. the world go around. Hey. <laughs> okay, I don't want to burn you. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm. Yeah, there should be. Yeah, there was a little bit of uh, flushing. And while that. Okay, so. That's so. almost done. Okay. So then we put them on the. Paper towel okay. to drain awesome. the excess oil and, and let's get this one over here. It's more done. Beautiful. Okay. You know, this is my second donut uh, recipe for cooking of the week. I made them. Um, uh, earlier this week, when yeah. your sister came to visit. And we're really lucky we get to have them often. Yes. So Ooh, we're going to put a... Oh, careful. Finger, but that's Ooh, okay. okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to do this. Yes. I'm just Folks, as you can see, cooking can be... Hazardous. Hazardous. You have to be careful. I'm gonna, I want to try. But don't be careful. Cause I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put my fingers yes. in it. Yes. I think we can put... One more, and then... Yes. Maybe we will then meet you guys Actually, back at the table. Put one more. Okay, so the donuts have come out of the oil, looking golden brown and delicious. And now we're going to put some icing sugar, which we've got over here, and we're going to sift it over, Mama? Yes, we will. All of the donuts? Yes, yes. And I can't mm. wait to have some. Mm. They look incredible. Yum! And remember, you can have these for breakfast. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. How do you say breakfast, Mama, in Swahili? Chakula chamacha subuhi. It's just chakula cha. It's food, morning food. Za subuhi. Chakula cha. Cha asubuhi. Thank you. Chakula cha asubuhi. Okay. Now we can turn them over and, and do the other side. I have sugar on both sides. Yes. Okay. A quick turn over. And uh, my kids love these too. Turn over those ones. While, while you're doing that, I'm going <laughs> to... 
who happens to be behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> And we're gonna get him in front of the camera at some point because it's kind of he's some eye candy. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. It yeah. looks like um, looks like a snowy Toronto day. Oh golly, don't say that to Torontonians <laughs> right now. They had a bad winter. Fair so, enough. There we are. So and that's our Mama finished Gina product. Her. There's our finished product, and uh, we can't wait to chomp into them. And thank you for joining us in the kitchen. Quaheri. Quaheri. That's bye bye. <laughs>